Today we take you to meet Taiwanese award-winning multidisciplinary artist Wu Jitong. Wu is famous for creating beautiful landscape artworks by wrinkly Xuan paper and putting it under sunlight. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang takes us to see the artistic process. Beautiful landscape artworks are hung on the wall. At first glance, it might look like a regular painting, but it's actually a cyanotype work created by Wu. With strong sunlight, you would see a very, very sharp edge of the shadow. He first applies a photosensitive coating to shim paper, which is also called rice paper. He then wrinkles the paper and puts it under the sunlight at the top of his studio's rooftop. For about half an hour, I would keep uh, changing the shape and read all this random and beautiful texture uh, of light and shadow and gradually develop the shape of the uh, fork and gradually develop the shape of the work. So all the work uh, I did uh, usually under the sunlight. You know, sunlight could change and in time and wind would move the paper. Most important thing, you cannot control how you crumble the paper, what a foam you will get. Afterward, he washes the paper. Mountains, oceans, glaciers, and other landscapes slowly emerge. So after exposure uh, under the sunlight, I need to watch the paper for half to one hour to remove the extra uh, chemical. Because the uh, cyanotype chemical contains some acid, so if it remains in the paper, it's going to make paper easy, become yellow and uh, fragile. It's kind of interesting because uh, um, it's on, because I was working under the direct sunlight, so I could see stronger contract like this part. Uh, you can see like a very strong uh, uh, color tone and contract inside. For me, I almost could see each paper and uh, feel the weather of the day when I was doing the exposure. So I think every day is uh, different. I'm also a rock climber, so I see this, I imagine myself, oh, maybe I can. For some of the works, he uses aluminum mounts to create a gray texture. Wu says the process of creating an art piece requires a great deal of patience. The color, detail, and texture of the work greatly depend on the type of shem paper and weather conditions. You see on top, it's nothing, it's no ugly color, and it's just simply the reflection of aluminum uh, panel with the texture. So when you work around the work and uh, you see the work from a different direction, the reflection would change. Also the environment, also the light of the environment change uh, through the day, through the day times. Papers I use on this work was created on a cloudy day but with stronger UV light. Because you can see the strong uh, intensity of a blue tone, but at the same time have a very, very smooth and subtle tone. Also, uh, this is, uh, this was this paper was a machine-made paper, not handmade paper. It shows very, very strong blue. Wu was trained from an early age in Chinese calligraphy, watercolor, Chinese ink painting, and drawing. He received his Bachelor of Fine Arts from the Taipei National University of the Arts. He began experimenting with cyanotype art in 2012. He hopes to reinvent ink painting. My cyanotype work combined two things uh, together. One is to have the dialogue with uh, ink painting, sunshine, this tradition, which I started to do since I was a kid. And I really love the kind of uh, aesthetic uh, behind. But nowadays, we don't use brush anymore. We barely use a uh, pen to do handwriting. So it might be difficult for audience to relate it to this uh, art tradition. So I got this idea to replace the ink and brush part with experimental photography. That's why I come out with the idea to try the cyanotype, because it's very simple, very direct. And most beautiful thing is this work under the sunlight. It's not in a dark room. It's the environment you know, engaged with the nature, which I like a lot. Wu says he hopes to continue to create bigger works and pay tribute to nature. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Wu Peijia in Taipei.